When Brad Pitt left Jennifer Aniston for Angelina Jolie, she went from America's sweetheart to ultimate victim. Months after the divorce, Jen was shocked when she found out Angelina was pregnant in the middle of an interview. And to make things worse, the media kept hounding Jen about when she was going to have a baby. This is the real life story behind the tabloids. Is he jealous? Brad? Yeah. Who's more jealous? Jealousy is healthy to a point, but no. Mm -mm. We've, we, we've worked on that one. We've, we've knocked that, that one out. She seems so confident there that their marriage was strong. And even everywhere that you saw them, they just seemed like this, like, super happy, super, like, perfect couple. But less than a year after that interview, it was over. Why are we telling the story now? For almost 20 years, the media has treated Jen as this heartbroken woman who would never be happy until she had kids. That couldn't be further from the truth, and we've uncovered details that will prove that. They were the couple on the wedding cake. Jen was America's Girl Next Door. Brad was everyone's favorite movie star. She's that, like that, that fire we all crowd around for warmth. You look at the camera and say something to him for me. Hi, baby, I love you. <laughs> Everything seemed perfect, but Brad was clear about wanting to start a family, telling CNN, it's time, we've been in rehearsals long enough. And the media were obsessed with Jen becoming a mom. Sad after friends, I'm gonna have children. Jen, when this is all done, do you wanna go home and have babies? Is there still a duel between his seven and your two oh, to no, three? I think that's that's gotten blown way out of proportion. And while Jen was struggling with the never-ending baby talk, Brad started filming Mr. and Mrs. Smith with Angelina Jolie. The two of us suddenly in dance class together was the, <laughs> the moment we both got really embarrassed. It's a very sexy dance. I like the tango. And I think it's sexy. Did it bother Jen? She didn't comment on it at the time, but we did some digging and we found out the truth. Jen knew that Brad was attracted to Angelina while they were still married. Really? Yeah. One of Jen's best friends, Courtney Cox, told Vanity Fair there was a connection and he was honest about that with Jen. It was an attraction that he fought for a period of time. That's never something that, as a woman, you want to hear, because sometimes it's your biggest fear, right? But the next year, everything seemed to be fine when Brad and Jen went on vacation. The tabloids were expecting a baby announcement any minute, but that's not what they got. The shock heard round the world, the breakup of Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston. What went wrong for the one-time it couple? What did Angelina Jolie have to do with it? And then on the same day that Jen filed for divorce, Brad did a photo shoot with Angelina, and you have to see these photos. Brad came up with the concept for that 60-page profile. The tabloids are saying that Brad left Jen because she didn't want to have children, and he's here posing with a perfect pretend family with another woman. You're married to this guy for five years, you guys have the same plans, and then he goes and does something like this, so it's like, what's wrong with me? I don't think I ever saw them do a spread with five kids. Jen was shocked. I can only imagine how that must have made her feel. It must have made her feel like she's not good enough. And that's a feeling she grew up with her whole life. My mom and I always had sort of a push and pull kind of a relationship. It didn't instill a lot of security in how I felt about my physical appearance just because she was kind of always telling me what to do and how to do it. So she was already carrying that insecurity when Brad left her. And to make things worse, it seemed like now Brad had this new built-in family. Brad, Angelina, and her adopted son were everywhere. Photos of the couple on vacation in Kenya with Angie's son Maddox. They often pack on the PDA when cameras are rolling. And to make things worse, the media wouldn't stop hounding Jen about it. You did say what Angelina did was very uncool. You did say that. He asked me a question and I answered it as honestly as I could. And then Jen was blindsided when she found out some devastating news in the middle of an interview. I understand she cried for a period of time during the course of the interview when you talked to her about Angelina Jolie being pregnant with Brad Pitt's baby and her eyes welled up with tears and she got very, very emotional at that point. Wow. But Brad wasn't the first person to betray Jen. Someone else she had trusted had let her down before. Who was that? Her mom. Her mom? What do you mean? The year that Jen and Brad got married, her mom published a juicy tell-all book about raising her. She cut off all communication with her mom. The year before the divorce with Brad, when she saw the book for the first time, it was too much for her to handle. Oh my God, where did you get that? 
I got that out of the book she wrote. Oh, Jesus, I've never looked at it. Wow. I never saw this. <laughs> Sorry. But are you surprised at yourself that you can't let it go? I, I've definitely tried. Now we're sort of standing in our corners just waiting for the other to approach. Between the book that her mom wrote and the photo shoot with Brad that he had with Angelina, it seems like there was no consideration for Jen's feelings in any of those instances. And that's really sad. Jen was trying desperately to heal. She was living alone with her dog. She only saw her best friends. And she was trying to build herself back up through therapy. Have you had to shed some tears? tears? So shed some tears in all the self-help books can sort of intellectualize it, but the truth is, and you sit there going, well, how do I do that? How, you know, and you're frustrated, and then you get down on yourself because you're not there yet. But as Jen dug deeper to move past her heartbreak, she had a powerful thought. She told Vanity Fair, relationships are two people. Everyone's accountable. Even if it's 98% the other person's fault, it's 2% yours you can only clean up your side of the street. There wasn't anything that could be done about Brad, but there was one relationship she was determined to fix. Your mom? Yes. There's news? Yeah, it's been really nice. It's crazy what, you know, your life kind of being turned upside down will lead you to. It's always, it's always some really wonderful things that end up coming out of it. And I, I think, you know, for, for us, it's, it was the time, and it doesn't feel good to, to harbor anger and resentment. We, we do have tools to work through stuff. Everybody does. Our hearts mend. But the media didn't want to talk about that. They wouldn't let go of this image that Jen was miserable without kids. So they continued to hound her about whether she was ever going to have a baby. And then one day changed everything. I kind of hit a wall. I was pretty raw at the time. Just came back from a vacation. My mother, she passed. It was a really extraordinary experience in time. And we were mobbed, like a scary kind of mob. And then it turns out that another wonderful photograph picture of me with a b bump and a circle around my stomach with an arrow pointing to it in just this sort of disgustingly objectifying kind of way. And I was just fed up with it. Jen published an article in Huffington Post writing, we are complete with or without a mate, with or without a child. We get to decide for ourselves what is beautiful when it comes to our bodies. So I think watching somebody like Jen finally put her foot down, so it makes you feel like, okay, maybe, you know, if I, if I have that pressure, I can be like, it's enough. We can stand on our own. We can be our own person. I don't have this checklist of things that have to be done, and if they're not checked, then I've failed some part of my value as a woman. I've birthed a lot of things, and I mothered many things. We all live it with our family or our friends pushing us to do something that maybe isn't the right choice for us. And I think what we can learn from Jen's story is that you're not defined by any one thing. You're not defined by society's expectations for you. You can stand on your own and choose for yourself.